हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो इन द चैप्टर ऑफ एरर करेक्शन एंड एरर डिटेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ ब्लॉक कोड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद माय एक्सप्लेनेशन लेट मी टेल यू द आउटलाइंस ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ चैनल एंड कोड वर्ड आफ्टर दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स After that, I'll discuss about basics of block code. After that, I'll explain important parameters of block code, and at last, I'll explain one example of block code that is four comma three block code that is also known as parity check block code. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of channel and code word. So first of all, I'll discuss about channel. see channel is a medium in communication system and through channel signal is getting traveled from transmitter to receiver so transmitter will be transmitting signal and that signal travels via medium and that medium is channel if you talk about examples then channel can be wireless channel channel can be cables or channel can be optical fibers right see due to channel there will be additional noise with given signal so channel may introduce noise interference and distortion that results into error in transmission now let me discuss about code word see code word is a set of information usually in digital communication information is transmitted as a code word so that is specific binary sequence that represent data after encoding let me explain this by one example let us consider we have a message bit that is 101 so here we have a data that is 101 encoder may convert this data into code word so here if you observe this code word so that is having data 101 and we have additional data 110 so in digital communication what we do is we transmits code word we don't transmit only data like here we have a data 101 but we transmit code word that is 101 110 why the reason is here due to channel there will be noise added with transmitted signal and that may cause errors to resolve errors we will be converting given data into code word so as and when we receive code word at receiver side and as if there is error in code word then by having error correction one can resolve error and we can extract original information right see each code word follows certain rules that is designed to detect and correct error caused by channel right now let me discuss about basic structure of communication system in communication system information is getting transmitted with the use of transmitter this information that is transmitted over a channel and receiver will be receiving information from the channel at last user can access those information if you observe here we have a channel that will be adding noise and due to noise is getting added with the transmitted signal here receiver may have issues with received signal but if you observe the detailed block diagram of transmitter then with transmitter here we have source encoder after that we have channel encoder and then we have modulator if you observe detailed block diagram of receiver then first of all there will be demodulator then we will be having channel decoder and then we will be having source decoder so in communication system transmitter will be transmitting encoded data and that data that can have errors due to noise provided by channel and at last receiver will be receiving that data the data which is received by receiver will be having errors and those errors can be resolved with the use of channel decoder so first of all let me explain the difference in between source encoder and channel encoder 
if you talk about source encoding then source encoding is used to remove redundancy from the original message so that we can represent given message in fewer bits one can say here we perform data compression let me give you some examples in text compression one can use Huffman coding that is source encoding or one can use arithmetic coding in image compression we use JPEG and in video compression we use MPEG now let me explain what is channel encoder so in channel encoding what we do is we add redundancy so along with the data we will be adding redundancy that will make robust data transmission the reason is here with channel there will be additional noise due to which there can be errors in received signal so by adding redundancy with the use of channel encoding we can have robust data transmission that can detect error and that can correct error for example one can use linear block code or Hamming code one can use convolution code and turbo cores so basically source encoding that will be providing data compression and channel encoding that will be providing error correction and error detection so one can say source encoding makes data smaller and channel encoding makes data stronger right now let me discuss about basics of block code See, block code is represented by n, k. So, first of all, you need to understand what is the meaning of n. See, n is total number of bits in given code word. And k is number of information bits. So, here small n, that is number of bits in given code word. And k is number of information bits. See, here difference in between code word and information bits that will be redundancy so one can say redundancy or parity bits that is n minus k so block code is represented by n comma k where n is number of bits in code word k is number of information bits and difference in between n and k that will be parity bits or one can say redundancy bits if you have information i that is having k number of bits as per i1 i2 up to ik and parity bits p as per p1 p2 up to pr then here code word will be information bits and parity bits right so in code word we will be transmitting redundancy along with information right now let me explain systematic codes and non-systematic codes when you talk about systematic codes then in that message bits are placed at the beginning of the code word followed by check bits like you can observe here i have given one example of code word in which initially we have information bits after that we have parity bits parity bits means check bits so here one can easily identify message data so in systematic codes we will be having message bits at the beginning of code word followed by parity bits so here one can easily identify original message when you talk about non-systematic codes then in that message bits and check bits are interspersed. means here original message bits are not located at a fixed position so one cannot identify exact location of message bits the reason is with each codes there can be different location of message bits right so in systematic codes there will be well defined position of message bits while in non systematic code message bit positions are not well defined it is based on some rules right now let me explain parameters of block code one can represent block code as per n comma k so here n is total number of bits in given code word so if you have n number of bits in given code word then total code words will be 
2 to the power n right here k is information bit so based on small k one can identify total code word for information in block code that is 2 to the power k here in total code words are 2 to the power n and code words for information is 2 to the power k so how many redundant code words are there 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power k right and based on n and k one can identify code rate code rate will be information bits divided by total bits in given block code right if you talk about parity bits then that will be difference in between total bits in code word minus information bit so these are the parameters that one should take care of when they talk about block codes now let me give you one example so here we have block code of 4 comma 3 what it means here we have in total 4 bits per code word and we have 3 information bits so how many redundant bits will be there n minus k means 1 so you can observe here we have 3 bits for information and 1 bit for parity so in total 4 bits are there so how many total code words will be there 2 to the power 4 means 16 so you can observe here i have listed in total 16 code words right starting from 0000 to 1111 now let me consider here we are having code word as per the rule of even parity check so here we are transmitting data as per even parity check so if you have even parity with given data then your code word with respect to information should be how much it should be as per even parity only like if you observe first code word is 0000, 0, 0, 0. So it is following even parity, right? Number of ones are zero. So one can say this is correct code word. Here, if you observe second code word, so that is zero, 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 one. So here we have one number of one, means here we have odd parity, but we are transmitting even parity. So this is false code word. If you observe third code word, so in which we have zero, zero, one, zero. So one can say here we have odd number of ones so this is also false code word right likewise if you observe this fourth code word then here we have 0, 0, 1, 1. means here we are having even number of ones so this is also correct code word so likewise one can identify correct and false code word here as if receiver is receiving false code word in that case receiver can understand that given code word is having error but receiver cannot correct error over here right here if you observe in total 16 code words are there out of which with respect to message we have three bit message so only eight code words are valid code word and as if there is any single bit error with given code word then the receiver can identify that with given code word there is error right but with 4 comma 3 block code one cannot correct error for error correction you need to add more parity bits that even i'll explain you in future coming videos i hope you have enjoyed this video still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video